choreography is hard. It's very high energy. It's nonstop, but it's just so um, rewarding to do. So I think just literally every time we get to dance, I'm like, ah, I love this. I love what I do. So. so if someone's a little weary about going because, say, Christianity is not their religion or they don't necessarily believe in Jesus, um, what are some reasons that that should not stop them from going see this play? Well, honestly, it's like a rock concert told through the story. So it's basically if you don't, you know, believe or you have different beliefs, um, it's still a great show because it's like a concert. So it's basically there's singers and there's dancers. And it's so when you come, you can take the story out of your mind and just sit back and listen to the music and watch the choreography. And I promise you'll be moved or you'll be like, you know, you'll be wanting to join in dancing with us. So I think... Um, if people are worried about that, they shouldn't be because it I, it draws everyone in no matter where you come from and what you believe in. And is there a main role in this play? And if so, who's playing that? Yeah, we have three. I would say we have we have quite a few, few principles, but um, the story is really told through Judas's eyes, who is played by L.B. Ellis, and then uh, Jesus, of course, who is played by Jack Hopewell. And they're both phenomenal performers, uh, truly like some of the best singers you have ever heard in your life. If I'm sitting in the audience, what and didn't know that I had interviewed you before or if I knew what you look like, how would you explain for someone to point you out in the choreography group from In the Sands if they had no background to what you looked or danced like? Ah, uh, well, I will say <laughs> a lot of people call me the muscle of the group because okay. I uh, I carry, I do a lot of the lifting, like lifting people up. And I also do a lot of um, some of the set lifting, which you'll have to come to the show and find out what that means. Um, but I basically, uh, uh, I'm the person that does a lot of uh, picking people up. Uh, my my family is actually from Houston. So they're, um, oh, my whole family's coming. And, you know, when... I have to describe it to them on stage. Um, I'm always just like, it's not hard to find me either. I look forward to going. I went to the last performance here at the um, Hobby Center and fell in love. It was Pretty Woman and it was phenomenal. So if this one is anything like that, it's going to be great. Yeah, I think that you're going to enjoy it. I think it's uh, it's been around for so long. Um, and just the way that we're telling this story in such a new way. It's just so entertaining and just like, I'm so excited to share this show with everyone, specifically with Houston, because it has a, you know, a special place in my heart because it's where my family lives. And um, my family just now started watching me perform. Uh, and so it's like nice to, to be able to go and present this where they live. And I'm, I'm just really excited for everyone to see it there. Oh,